I'm over here at Powercom with Steve and Jason. Hello, guys. Hey, How's it up? going? Not so bad. So, how have you found Powercom all together? You know, we uh, I had a great time. Everyone here. It was my first trip over uh, oh, nice. over the pond. We had a great time. The food was excellent, and uh, the fans were awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Same same experience. This is my third time here in the UK, but uh, you know, it's I, I love coming here. It's so much fun. So right. you can expect to see me here a couple more times this year, probably too. Oh, that's right. You came. Uh, you were over at Wrexham last time, right? Yeah, I did the yeah the Wales Comic Con. I did Wrexham, yeah. and then I did the London Film Comic Con back in 2013. So nice. Oh, nice. So cool. As we've got anything. Um, what was it like working on the show um, for both Mighty Morphing, um, Zio, and Time Force? Um, I had a great time. It was my first series that I worked on. Um, our cast was exceptionally tight, and um, it was, it was, I doubt I'll ever have a job as good as that one. We had a great time doing it. Yeah, it was my first experience as well. My first and only audition that I'd ever been on or done or anything. Um, I heard about an audition on the radio that they were looking for new Power Rangers. And I just really? show up and just try out for it, yeah. And so I just showed up and there was like 4,000 people at my audition. Oh my God. And, uh, and me and Johnny and Karen were all at the same audition and we beat everybody out. Wow. That's uh, awesome. So, I didn't yeah. know that. Oh. Um, so obviously, Steve, um, what is your most uh, memorable moment on the show? Probably the day the day we got hired, you know, because yeah. I mean we went through like so much in a four day span because they 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 it was like four days from the first audition until we got hired and it was like that would also include travel time because we were there for we, we did the audition one day in Texas where I where I'm from and then they called me a couple days later and said hey we showed your video to the producers they want to fly you out to to meet them yeah. and we you know we hopped on a plane and and uh, um, we went and auditioned for Heim Saban wow. and. Um, and then like the next day they said congratulations you guys are hired we got to start filming right away so you can't go home so can your parents mail you your clothes well, and uh, yeah so it was like yeah it was just like that it was quick really? and uh, so yeah but it was a very very memorable experience probably yeah. like the most exciting one of the most exciting things that happened you know to me. It must be after that, that quick like scare everybody like, straight away and yeah and not done how about yourself um that's that's exciting i gotta be honest but mine was a longer process it was, I auditioned for it two years previous, didn't get it. Auditioned for the year before, which was Lightspeed, didn't get it. Mm. And then they, they brought me back up the third time, and uh, it was an audition that took place over, I, I want to say like four months. Yeah. It was probably wow. four or five auditions over four months. <laughs> four months compared to four days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's what I'm saying. That, that's a, what an accelerated life. But, um, and, and so, and three weeks ago by, and you think, okay, I didn't get it again. And then they call you back, and then three weeks go by, and get it again. Um, so that was probably one of my most memorable experiences. I remember where I was driving and what I was doing when I actually got the call on my cell phone that I booked the job. So, oh, wow. very wow. exciting. That's, cool. That's amazing. So, with being just like two of the iconic Red Rangers, as well as you, Zio, because Zio was like one of my favorite seasons out of all of them. Um, and obviously, I came into Time Force after Power Morph Con 2. I started watching and I really enjoyed it. Um, it's just really nice to guys meet you. Um, meet you guys, not guys, yeah. Um, so, what made you want to do uh, Bra uh, Brazil uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Um, well, the, the way I got introduced to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is because I was a, I was a martial artist first in Taekwondo, yes. and um, you know I had been doing that so long that I actually opened up after Power Rangers opened up my own uh, Taekwondo studio, and uh, that was in Valencia, California, where we used to film the show. And uh, this guy walked in off the street one day, started talking about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and I'm like, eh, I'm not really interested, you know. I like Taekwondo, that's my style. I'm gonna stick with that. And he was like, well, let's just have a little match, just see how it goes. So he essentially challenged me in my own school, and he'd only been training for a year and a half and I'd been training for 10 years at this point or more in in the martial arts and um, he uh, basically like tackled me to the ground rolled me over on my stomach and put me in a chokehold and like put put me out in like 10 seconds wow. so I was like all you know all in the span from start to finish like 10 seconds I was tapping out on the mat and I was like okay this wow. is definitely uh, something <laughs> that is out of my wheelhouse and I need to learn this so I was I was hooked instantly you know because as a martial artist I, I saw the value in you know Knowing, I kind of was walking around with a false sense of security, thinking that I knew more than I did, you know, mm. and um, that's kind of a dangerous sort of um, notion to have. Yeah. So if you want to have real confidence, you need to be able to know how to like handle yourself in every single aspect, yeah. uh, you know, in every situation. And uh, I was clearly a fish out of water, <laughs> and so I said I need to start learning that. So I, rather than like, you know, denying it, I really embraced it and uh, started from scratch. Started at white belt and worked my way all the way up to black belt. So I have called two black belts in two different styles because of that. So I'm very wow. Oh, yeah, wow. very happy about that. Nice. And um, I asked over the, the like, thing the other day about um, 
Resident Evil 6, you were the motion, like the capture. What did you have to do for that entire role? I've done it myself, but just in case if no one, is, no one knows what it is, what, what did you have to do? What was the whole process? You know, the motion capture stuff is they, they model the character after you, and uh, all the cutaway scenes, so basically when the gamer's not playing, they cut away. Those are filmed just like movies. Yeah. Um, and you have on those, that, that jumpsuit with the balls, and it's, you're surrounded by a basketball stadium of cameras, um, and you're acting out those individual scenes just like a film. Wow. Um, and what I always tell people is that job was literally, it was two years from start mm. to finish. That's how oh, wow. Capcom is. So it was a big, big job. I was very, very fortunate to get it. Um, <clears throat> and it wasn't every day for two years, but you know, maybe a day or two or three, sometimes five. But it was over the course of two years that we did it. And it was th th nothing different than actually acting, except for not having to find the actual lens. Yeah. Yeah, because the cameras are all around you. True. Wow. wow. So just to kind of wrap it up, um, what do you guys have planned for the future? <clears throat> um, well, you know, for right now for the future, over the, ne the next couple of years, you can catch me at a lot of shows. Um, Fawn and I are going to probably be doing a lot of cons uh, this year. I think I'm booked for like almost 30 shows wow. so far this year, awesome. and I've got another 10 pending, I think. Yeah. So um, you can definitely find me around um, mm -hmm. at the shows, and uh, you know, Fawn is doing a lot of them as well too. Probably for the next couple of years until Power Rangers, the new reboot movie comes out, that's yeah. going to be popular for us. So we'll be working with that a, long, a while. But I also have a martial arts studio that I run. Um, you know, I don't, I, I'm not as involved with it as much anymore because I'm traveling a lot. Yeah. But but um, you can either find me, you know, teaching there or kind of out on the road. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I just filmed a movie called Teen Warlock. Yeah. Uh, that was the last film I just did, so I'll, I'll be sure to post that up as, as it gets closer to coming out. Um, and then other than that, it's just, just, you know, day by day in Hollywood, things yeah. change all the time. So <laughs> that was the last thing I just did, and um, and uh, we'll see what the next project is. But on my Instagram, which is Jason Font, yeah. I'll, I'll always post everything. And mm. Yeah. Thanks to this guy here, um, he, you know, he's helped open the door up. Him and Jason David Frank have really opened the door up yeah. in the convention world. They've been so um, help, helpful to me in, in, in learning that process, mm. and it's been great. So I'll be on the convention circuit a lot uh, this year as well. Oh, that's awesome. And again, you'll be all, is it loads of you going to the conventions, or is it just like oh, select Oh, well, yeah, few? I mean, it's all of us, you know, do them. You know, some of them don't do as many because they have, you know, a lot of other things going on as well, too. Um, so uh, myself, you know, I just happen to find you know, um, more time to do these, you know, my weekends are more free, so, you know, I don't have as many obligations with kids and all that stuff like that, that yeah. uh, the rest of the, the Rangers have, so, uh, you'll see us all, though, yeah, we'll be yeah. all, we'll all be around, yeah. That's cool, and so you've given your Instagram, and thing is, what's your Instagram, so, like, uh, they can so see? Steve underscore red underscore ranger, that's the Instagram, um, uh, Steve Cardenas PR for Twitter, and just the Steve Cardenas fan page on Facebook. Yeah, okay, cool, well, thank you very much, guys, thanks, thanks guys. for um, being over here at PowerCon, the first one. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in a bit.